Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to Here's the Storm. Uh, I'm going to keep doing this uh, game on my channel uh, until I give away the beta keys. And then after that, I'm not sure. I enjoy playing it, but I kind of want to focus more mostly on uh, doing more Minecraft stuff. Uh, but I do need to get uh, give these beta keys away. So as always, post down in the comments. The first 20 comments, I will roll a d24, and one of those guys is going to get a beta key. Remember to post your Reddit name. Uh, check the description for the full official rules. And uh, very obviously, after the first 20 people post a Reddit uh, account to P for me to PM a key to, there's uh, you don't need to post your account because it's only going to be the very the first 20 people. But if you want to comment, you know, I always appreciate them. Daily Quest. Two games as a Diablo hero. Sure, why not? I've got one of my favorite heroes is a Diablo hero. It's Sonya. I've been playing her a lot, and I quite like Sonya. So let's just take her out into a my game. Oh, it's set to a bot. You know what? Fine. Let's do a, a bot game. It's fine. I'm actually a little bit sniffly today, and I was actually going to do some Minecraft, and I was like, no, no. I don't really... I honestly don't know if I feel up to it. But I wanted to do something today. Uh, so I was like, you know what? Here's the Storm is pretty easy. Uh, a quick game of that. It's not hard to record. So that's what I'll be doing. Today, I hope you don't mind. After I finish giving away uh, all the beta keys I have, um, you know, I might do Here's the Storm like once a week, maybe. You know. Uh, I don't know if I'll do it every day or every other day, kind of like I did League of Legends. <clears throat> Just because I want to focus mostly on Minecraft-related stuff on my channel. Alright. So, the first thing I like to take on Sonya is has left the this. Basic what attacks heal you for 25% of the damage dealt. That's a really nice uh, vampiric ability. Um... I haven't really tried these other ones, and I'm not sure how good they'd be. The I can kind of see how that seven. might be nice, maybe, to raise the max. But, Five, like, giving up the self-healing is kind of... It's kind of painful. Let the battle begin. Like, that self-healing is amazing. Like, it, it works really nice. I've been kind of wondering if, like, does your mount influence your hitbox? I don't think it does. If this guy stops moving, like, I hover on his tail. I don't know. Hurry. And <clears throat> this is a bot rainer, so he's obviously kind of dumb. Let's see if we can get him. He'll probably try to go this way. Oh, do it, Nazebo, do it! Get the poison, use your poison. Alright, so I'm pretty hurt, but check this out. Watch how fast I can, Sonya can get healed up off of uh, just auto-attacking and using Whirlwind. Uh, I need. I basically need uh, a minion wave. Okay, here we go. Their minion wave. This is what I need right here. Check this out. Look at her health just coming back. Like, that's amazing. I'm already I'm back to full basically. Uh, I was thinking of doing a whirlwind there, but I'm gonna back off for now. We'll probably kill this Rainer every single time he comes out here. I think he's already It looked to me like he already had the life still going. The bots are so dumb. Ah! He spoiled my thing. Another bit of trivia, the caster minions here, the guys that cast the spells as opposed to the knights or the archers, they're the ones that always drop the region globe. Is Rainer self-healing every time he shoots? I think he is. Yeah, I think he is. So the next thing I like to take is this one, Superiority. It halves the damage you take from non-heroes. Uh, that's actually very powerful for getting 
minion camps, as you'll see here. I'm just going to go in this bruiser camp, and I don't think they'll be able to get my health down at all. As long as my whirlwind is going, I actually heal off of them. Going to lay off the uh, caster here and spread the damage out a little bit. Because by keeping him alive, he actually... Uh, he actually worked as a source of HP for me. There we go. Boop. Burp. Burp. Now the W, I don't use the W that often. Um, just because it drains Fury that I'd rather use on healing myself with a move I'll get soon. I guess I'll use it. So I just took that with no HP loss. And I bet, I, as soon as I level up uh, to 7 and get another move, I bet I could take the boss. I'm pretty, I bet, I, I think I can solo the boss. Uh, but I'll go ahead and get these. These are, these are going to be very easy. Hello, Murda. Burden, I really don't think, is a very good character to try to fight me. Uh, his stun is nice. I assume my team can beat the bots? Or not. Wow, okay. The bots are pretty bad. Okay. Alright, can I get the... Here we go. Ferocious healing. It's an activated heal. You can use this and just heal yourself for 10% of your HP. L uh, later on, uh, that's actually quite a good bit of healing. So they actually got... Okay, next tribute, I'll have to make sure our team gets it, not to let any more bots get any more tributes. It won't really matter. I mean, it's just a bot game. But okay. I'm going to try and solo the boss here. Uh, definitely want to dodge that. And now that I know he won't use that move for a little while, I'm going to go ahead and Whirlwind. Now, unfortunately, I'm only hitting one target here. Avoid that. Whirlwind. Since I'm only hitting one target, I'm not getting as much healing. But you see how fast he's taking down a Nubarak. Yeah. Oh, I got hit by that. It'll be okay, though. Oh, damn it. Go get it. I can... Oh, frick or frack. Go get the trip. Oh, man. Well, I can very obviously solo the boss now that I've got the, the self-healing. Alright, I'm gonna go get the other boss. And the boss should push pretty hard into the enemy team. Uh, let's go in here on the way. As long as I don't get stunned, I should be okay. Let's back off for a sec. Grab a heal here. Ah, that feels better. I'm going to wait for the one move. Activate that. Go back into combat. Let's see if I can get Arthas. Probably not, though. Yeah, probably not. You basically want to activate the, uh, the manual heal every single time it's up. I'm actually gaining HP right now, even though Il uh, he was shooting at me. Had to dodge out of the Tassadar Storm. And I probably just want to go here. Ah, no, okay. Um, both of these are good. Uh, I'm going to pick the stun, because it's good for securing kills. Although for just straight up fighting, I think the Berserk is better. Uh, Sonya has amazing wave clear. Just one single whirlwind and the whole wave is dead. And my health is back. I love this champion. I go get the other boss.
So I'll often use my Q because it generates fury as just, you know, something to do to... Uh, help me generate fury even like on a passing minion I'll use it. Uh, this skill gives her a lot of utility. It's really good. Oop. I do appreciate the extra little DPS from uh, Sylvanas here. That's kind of nice. And one last Q to generate some fury. Uh, I wonder how our first boss did. Probably pretty good. Go get the siege minions. On this map, you can basically just turn the whole map blue, um, get all the camps, and win. Uh, the bosses, if your team can grab both bosses, uh, they just wreck stuff. Let's go help out with this tribute. It's coming up right now. Maybe we can get this Rainer and make sure he doesn't get away. There we go. Yeah, no more of that. Right. Uh, at level 13, I really like to take... Uh, I think a lot of these are pretty good. Um, but I like this one. I like making the whirlwind heal more. And it's kind of nice to get rid of any it's slow effects on you. Now this, that, that, this is not nice. Guys, guys, please. Please. Get, please, just get out of here, please. So thankfully, fighting near this uh, minion wave is uh, pretty beneficial. I need to use my heal. Oh, you know, I thought that was a friendly. So I can use the whirlwind to make sure no uh, slow effect is on me. Break off for a second, use my one move again, go back in. And stupid Murden stuns me out. Now Murden can stun me out of my... Uh, oh, watch out now. Waiting for my Q to come back up. I'm going to mount up so I can chase better. And get the Arthas. And also heal myself back to completely full on, this, on that minion wave. There we go. Um, my favorite thing about Sonya is is her self healing is so amazing. She can turn a fight around. Like you think she's almost dead, and she is almost dead. And then she'll get near some minions, maybe some enemy heroes, and then just boom, back to full HP. Oh, I didn't get out of it in time. Oh well. Alright, looks like uh, Anubarak is going for the tribute, and as soon as I get done with this, I'll go up and help him. And what else? Who's up? Nazebo, they're fighting? Alright, we're on the way. Should probably ping so they know I'm coming. And I don't care about you, Tassadar. I'm going for the tribute. Everything else is secondary. Ah, oh, bad time to be stunned. Alright, nobody's on the tribute. We're just fighting near it right now. No, you don't get away. So that was the stun ult. You just jump. There we go. No, you don't, Arthas. That's our tribute. Alright, he can run away if he wants to. Uh, at this level, I really like... Um, That can be kind of nice. Um, you can use it as, uh, if you ever played Nautilus on League of Legends, his, like, using his anchor to pull you around. That's basically what that does. Uh, but I like this. More Whirlwind. I love the Whirlwind. I think that is her signature move. So I'm going to run around and just... 
Let's see how their base is getting wrecked. Yeah, it's it's getting wrecked. Keep destroyed. I don't even I don't even need to like watch myself. I'm gonna watch over here. Sonya'll Sonya'll just auto attack the uh, siege guys to death. Like the, the self healing from just the auto attacks is enough. I mean, I guess I could hit E. Yeah, they're pushing it now. All right. Well, looks like it's time to uh, Let the curse end. got that. It's time to get in there and just end this. 13 minutes, not bad. Uh, my fastest bot game, I think, was uh, seven. Maybe like seven minutes or so. Actually, you know what? Let's get the boss. Does Nazebo need help escaping? That would be yes. Yes, he needs help escaping. <laughs> All right, we're here. What's up, dude? Get out of here, man. Oh wow. Yeah, the the little extra healing there. Oh, but did, oh, Nazebo pushed back in and just killed it. Okay, that's cool. GG, man. I was just gonna let the boss do it. Oh man, I feel so stuffy today. <sighs> so Blizzard gave out for free a stem pack. Uh, check out that nice boost. Like that was. I'm used to having a friend bonus because I usually have Rallus playing with me. Uh. But, look at that, 100% extra. Uh, if you fight against people and win, I think that's like 50 gold? No, it's a bit more than that. No, 60, I think. Right, 30, and then... Oh, no, 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 it's 75. It's 50 if you lose. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I'm getting pretty close to Team League. I've gotten... Uh, Blizzard updated the... Uh, where's... Is my player profile? I seem to prefer... Have a preference for Warriors and Assassins. Uh, player progression. Here we go. Yeah, at level 2, they upped the gold rewards here. There's a lot more of them, and it happened retroactively. So basically, I logged in and got like 10,000 gold. It was kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, Sonya's really good. Uh, if you're new, um, if you're new to the game, I think Vala is kind of good. Yeah, she's easy. Uh, the reason Vala's got like a tumble move, and she. You can use the tumble to chase people or to escape. And she has very good auto attack damage. Um, and I haven't actually picked her, but I've fought against her plenty of times. Um, and had her on my team. Uh, she's a solid choice if you're new to the game and you don't know who to pick. Uh, I think I'd also actually maybe recommend... Rainer? That's Tychus. Where's Rainer? I'm blind. There's Rainer. Uh, Rainer's a pretty good choice. Uh, he's very simple to play. Uh, like he's he's very straightforward. Uh, his Q pushes. Uh, he's got one skill shot. His Q, um, and then he's got a passive attack speed boost, an activated uh, attack speed boost. Excuse me. And then his passive is like a, is a heal that'll help you. You know, basically make is a very forgiving hero to play on mistakes. Like, if you ever extend, you can run away, and the heal kicks in and helps you get away. Um, if you're new to the game, so I'd recommend uh, Raynor, Vala, and Malfurion is a good healer. Uh, if, you, if you put all the points into making his heals better, he has amazing healing. Uh, and I kind of want to say Muradin. Like, his, he's rated as medium, but I still think he's a good character for new people 
if you want a warrior, uh, because he he is a very strong hop move where he can hop over walls or hop away to safety. And once he's out of combat, he is very powerful passive self-healing regeneration. Once he gets out of combat, the regen kicks in and heals him a lot. Um, so if you go in and make a mistake and you get hurt a lot, you can hop away and run off. And he also has a ranged stun. Um, and once you back off and stay out of combat for a few, like two seconds, the healing kicks in and you can heal back up and, you know, it's like forgiveness for the mistake you made, basically. It's not as punishing to take damage on Muradin. Uh, so yeah, those would be my recommendations if you're new. Um, Sonya kind of, like, she's really good. But her escape is not as good as Muradin's. Because, uh, like, Sonya's, she can have an ultimate that's the, the, the hop and stun. That's just, like, one of Muradin's normal moves, is just hopping around. So he's, I, I would say, and he's also got a ranged stun. So I'd say Muradin has great escape mechanics if you find yourself in trouble. Um, and his Muradin's ultimate, I would suggest taking his avatar ult. Because uh, it's just passive health and, let me pick him, uh, click, and then talents, and then 10. Yeah, here it is. Yep. Yeah, he just gets bonus HP. And it makes your auto attacks stun enemies. That's amazing. Uh, and that doesn't take any more skill to use, I, I, I guess. Like, it just makes your hero more powerful. Like, all you gotta do is just activate it and play normally, essentially. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, don't forget, if you want to enter for a beta key, uh, I, honestly, if you watch the video this far... Uh, 20 people have already probably posted, so <laughs> whatever. Uh, I'll see you guys next video. As always, take it easy.